Here we go, Stanley Cup Finals just around the corner. And here's what I wonder, how does the kid show up in this, right? I mean, it's his first Stanley Cup game looming. Uh, he's been so good up to this point. I can only assume that just carries over into this finals round, but you know, you never know, right? Do you get a little shell shocked because you're all of a sudden in the Stanley Cup Finals? Who knows? But if I'm willing to guess and if I'm willing to predict, which I like to do from time to time, my prediction is he's going to be one of the best players for this team in these Stanley Cup Finals. You mark my words. We'll see how it all plays out. Uh, still to come here on the show, we'll also go around. Are days like this gearing up for a big game agonizingly long? Sometimes they it's like the clock never moves. Remember when you were a kid and you were looking at the clock in school and you're like, school. would you oh. please move along and oh. nothing happens? It's like that a lot for a player too. And when you're a young player, you don't have a lot of experience. The nerves really build as the day goes on. to drop the puck tonight. The proverbial line in the sand is drawn at center ice and we are underway. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Puck picked up by McCarr. And now it's over to Rantanen. Receives the pass. Heads to the back of the net. Quick shot. Well, Golden's love this. I mean, he gets to flash the leather, the club save, and the little snap of the wrist to show everyone in the building. Nice try. I've got it. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Still scoreless in this one. Quick pass to Pasternak. And not much on that one. Tosses it to McKinnon. Nice zone entry from the middle. The Avs play it along the wing. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Bergeron's got it across the line. And that's blocked in traffic. Find some space in the corner. And he regains control of the puck. That's blocked by Georgiev. 
I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. Fires it on net, and he gets just enough of it to keep it out for the back of the net. They're working really hard these days to make sure when they stop the puck, it doesn't stay in front of them. If they can't stop it and catch it, they want that puck in the corner. Gains the zone through the middle. Shot! Big time stop there. Colorado's got a hold of it against the wall. Moves it to Nieto. Dished on over to Pasternak. Shot! Oh, tremendous reflexes with the pad. What a stop by Georgiev. Still lots of time left in the period. We've still got zeros on the board. Bergeron's won the draw here, and they'll go on the attack. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. Well, he didn't leave the refs much choice on that one, did he, James? I, that's a penalty no matter how you look at it. Man advantage unit is set. They've been skunked on the power play so far tonight. So you have a little chat on the bench. Guys, notice some things that the penalty killers do, and you try to adjust one step ahead of them. And he takes the feed. The Bruins gain possession in their own end. Into the corner now. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Made that stop. Taken by Taves. Moves the puck. Moves it quickly over to Rodriguez. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. More than half the frame has been played here. Still looking for our first goal. Boston's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Scooped up along the wall by McAvoy. Skates across the blue line. Grabs the puck in the corner. Chase right in front. And that goes off a body. And he takes a shot. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Puck scooped up by Manson. Looking to make something happen at center. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. The Bruins looking against the half wall. Centering pass! And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Byron. Branton has got it in the offensive zone. The Bruins have it now. Boston's got it across the line. Makes a move in front! Stopped by the goaltender. It's a really good save in tight. He shuts down the area where the puck can go by getting out onto the puck, and there's nowhere for the shooter to put it. Oh, and serves up a little too sweet with that save. Across the line, down the left wall. They fight for it along the boards. Grabbed along the boards by McKinnon. The Avs take it across the blue line. Into the corner. There's the horn, ending the first period. Both teams will have a chance to regroup. You do you, and we'll be back with period number two in a moment. A clean sheet of ice beckons, and period number two set to get underway. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Ray Ferraro is standing by with his assessment of the first period between the benches, Ray. The Bruins probably a little bit unlucky in that initial frame. They controlled most of the possession, but they trail by a goal. Boston's got it behind the net. And that caroms off a body in traffic. Georgiev's going to cover it up for a faceoff. While his team's ahead, he wants to make sure the pace of the game stays at the level they like. 
the rookie's been a big part of this dominating portion of the game. They've been all over the opposition, and the coach is reminding them, don't take a step back. Keep pushing the pace. They've been like a pack of Wolverines out there on the ice to this point. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. The Avs lead it 1-0. Bergeron's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Oh, the referee's going to call that one. Oh, it's denied by Georgiev. The goaltender is quickly off to his bench to get the extra attacker out. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. That penalty really puts them back on their heels here. Even though they got the one goal lead, now you've got to defend it short of man. Boston sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. Well, they've gotten themselves to within one. Now they've got a power play opportunity to try and even the score. The best power plays always work when the feet and the puck are moving at the same time. Grant's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. The Bruins scoop it up along the boards. Knocked away. Works it across to Cogliano. Boston's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. And now it's grabbed by Pasternak. Came up with the save on that play. Play whistle dead, penalty coming up. The Avalanche have to serve a two minute delay a game penalty for that. The Bruins once again send out their power play unit. Patience is good on the five on three, but you can't pass it around looking for the perfect shot and never actually shoot it. Taken along the wall by Orlov. And he takes the dish. And he puts it in the net. Yeah, it's in the net, James, but I don't know that this one's going to count. Immediately, the officials are going to huddle together. I know they didn't like the non-goal call, but the show must go on here. Here we go with the face-off. won the draw. Here's a short pass to Pasternak. Back to the blue line. And that shot dies in traffic. Into the attacking end. Puts it on net. Makes a save. Omar's gonna smother it to get a whistle. It can get dangerous if nobody's in control of the puck. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. Bergeron's won it in their own end. DeBrusque's lugging the puck. Takes it at center. Shot, and he comes up with it. Georgiev's on top of that for the whistle. Pretty quickly on top of it to kill the play. Natruskin side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. The Bruins win it. Takes it to the net. Stones him in front. Georgiev's going to cover up the puck here for a whistle. He makes a safe play and kills the play before any other damage can be done. Bergeron's ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. Boston's won the draw and they'll go to work. Way too much congestion blocks that. Battling for it along the boards. Puck grabbed by DeBrusque. Back at the point, they set it up. Scores! And they capitalize with the power play. And here they've taken the lead. I love watching this team when they get on the power play when they're confident because that puck starts getting zipped around. They can attack low. They can use a point shot. Really hard for the penalty killers to catch up, and they just couldn't this time. Boston's got in front here in the second. What do you hear between the benches? Nobody's really that comfortable. I mean, they're happy, of course, they've got the lead, but this is going to stay close. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. To the low slot! 
The Avs grab possession of the puck. From the point, looks to make something happen. Boston's got the puck behind the net. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Georgiev. The Avs take it along the wall. Takes a shot. Oh, what a pad save by Omar. It's a tough part of playing goal here. You can't see the puck. There's a screen in front of you. You cannot give up on the play. You have to stay sharp. He does. It makes a really nice save. to keep it out of the net. The Bruins have it against the wall. Denies him! Here he is in front! And the lane's clogged up blocking that. The Avs gain the zone. Nice stop by Omer. Strong fundamental save there. You make the save, you get it to the corner. That's puck control. Well past the midway mark of this period, Boston's got a one-goal lead. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. And sends it just out of reach. Slides the puck across to Byron. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Up along the wing. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Takes a shot. Turned aside with the glove by Omar. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Both teams gliding into position and the official set to drop the puck. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. The Bruins will play it from the defensive zone. Nice pass. Grizzlick's gaining momentum. Boston's got him along the wall. Sends a pass over. Poked away at center ice. The transition game now into full effect as they move across the blue line. Puck picked up by Landeskog. Here's a shot. Fantastic save. I think through traffic like that, you're just hoping the thing hits you. Here they come, down the right side and on the attack. Moves the puck across to Rantanen. Steps inside the attacking zone, down the left wing. Getting into the later stages of this period, Boston's up 2-1 and the crowd has been enjoying this one. The frozen biscuits dropped and we are back underway here. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Made the stop on that play. Through center along the wing. There's a collision with some authority. The Avalanche have the puck against the boards. And now he moves it to Rantanen. Down the right side and into the zone. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Landeskog's got it along the wing. Takes the feed. Big save by the goaltender watching that one. Teams are ready to go, and we're about moments away from puck drop. The Bruins win it in the defensive zone. The Avs gain possession along the wall. From the slot, fires away. And that's off target as it hits a body. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. The Bruins have the puck now. They go on the attack through center. The Bruins will take it behind the net. Let's the wrister go. Denies them with the glove by Georgiev. Yeah, he gets out on top of the shooter. There's really nowhere for that puck to go. Takes the feed. Quick shot. Denied by the goaltender. Slick feed. And they'll be forced to tag up after that missed pass. And the goalie now steps behind his net to play the puck. Second period nearly into its final minute here.
40 minutes down, still another 20 to go here in this one. Join us for period number three, next. Welcome back everyone, he's Ray, I'm James, and we are ready to kickstart this third period. They have dropped the puck here in the third. Well, we've got two periods under our belts to this point so far, Ray. How do you see things? The Avs are still in this game, and really, it's kind of a miracle, James. I mean, they don't have many shots on goal, not many chances. That's going to have to change in the third period. Lots of time left in this period. The Bruins are clinging to a 2-1 lead. Taken by McAvoy. Let's it go! Oh, a slick stop by Georgiev. Great heads up play to put it away in the offensive end. Denies them in close. Oh, here we go. This team knows how to turn it up another gear, and they have done that here. Along the half wall. Oh, what a save on the play. Puck ready to drop here any moment to get things underway again. The Bruins will go to work here in the offensive zone. Takes a shot, and he makes the save. The Bruins gain control of the puck against the wall. And now it's grabbed by McCarr. The Avs gain control of it. Takes the pass. Now he takes it over the line and uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Quick feed to Bergeron. Hold of the puck. Oh, he's going to get called on that slash. Just applying the squeeze here in the offensive end. The fans are all over it. And we've got a penalty coming up on the defensive side as the whistle blows things dead. His make it snappy zone ability is when he's skating with his head up and takes his shot with momentum on his side, guys. Defenders will want to limit his opportunities for sure. Sends the pass over. Stays with it. Cuts to the paint. Sensational stop by Georgiev. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. It's 2-1. Boston's got it, and they're on the attack. Oh, gets a little piece of it, and keeps it out of the net. The Avs move the puck in the defensive zone. Trying to get back on the attack now. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Landeskog. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. Landeskog's such a creative player. He's always looking at the next way through the traffic. Tries a tricky move there, but can't complete it. Teams are ready for the draw. The line's been about to drop the puck. Colorado's won the draw. Poked away at center by McCarr. Solid hit on the play. And now he tries to get it across to Pasternak. Chance and it goes sideways. Gains the zone from the right side. Great poke check on the reach. Frustrating night for the offensive players on both teams. 
Plenty of chances, not much production. The goals are not there, the chances are, and you have to try and dig away for one chance that might make the difference. The Avs cross the blue line and are on the attack. Fearless, totally fearless on the block. With possession along the wall. Here he is, shot in front. And a quick save on that one. Gorgiev's been the one constant tonight. Start to finish here. His save percentage has been terrific. Offensively, they just seem off. Can't find his man. Boston's gained possession along the boards. Colorado's got control of the puck. And a solid stop on the play there. The Avs get a hold of the puck along the boards. Picked up along the wall. And it rings the post! Colorado's really grinding on this game. They want to get this game back to even. But that shot off the post won't help them. Denies him with the blocker. What a stop by Georgiev. Quick pass to Rantanen. The Bruins gain possession. Ref's arms in the air. We got a penalty coming up. And he sprints to the bench to get the extra attacker out on the ice. Whistle blows, stopping the play. The coach just shaking his head here on the bench. The same player, a penalty twice in this period. to comfort. Boston's got the puck along the wall. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. And that doesn't reach the net. Center and feed! And nothing materializes on that chance. Throws it in. Moves it to Bergeron. McAvoy's carrying it ahead. The center and feed! And it carries off a twig in front of the net. Dumps the puck in. The Bruins have it now. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Oh, they probably want to redo on that. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Boston's got the puck. The man advantage expires and a tip of the cap to the penalty killers who come up big. Oh, the power play will wrap up and they miss with a chance to score a really important power play goal. Boston's got it now. Oh, what a net! That's trying to be too perfect. You're in the middle of the ice. Get it on the net. Slides the puck over. Boston's looking to break out. Moves it quickly over to Bergeron. Boston's got it in their own zone. And the crowd's on their feet, saluting the team after a hard-fought effort this evening. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Lindholm. Georgiev's made his way quickly to the bench, and the extra attacker is now out on the ice. And it is all over with this one. What nothing is going to one in this series. It's amazing, James, you play this long season, and then the playoff series goes pretty quickly. You want that lead, they have it now. You know, it's funny, Razor, when this thing first started, I thought it was a little gimmicky. I'm loving that. Yeah, but gimmick is okay. It's okay because it connects the fans and the players. I'm with you. I didn't know if it would stick. I'm glad it did. Well, that'll do it for tonight's postseason action, but the playoffs roll on, and we will see you at the next game. From all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Sabalski. Good night.
performance by the kid in his Stanley Cup debut. I mean, he came to play in a big, big way. You, you almost got a sense that he's been waiting his whole life for this and making the most of it and not going to blow it. Uh, loved his performance, played strong at both ends of the ice, was a real factor out there. And I know Ray and I were talking between periods a couple of times and just really impressed by how this kid showed up. Uh, we'll hear from both sides, the winners and losers.